TC Turini Claudio SRL has its head office in Villafranca di Verona, Northern Italy. Our company is specialized in the manufacturing of settling systems which recycle wastewater produced during the glass, marble, granite and concrete processing. Thanks to a wide range of products and an accurate consultancy activity, a leading position on the national and international markets since early 80s. All our systems can in fact meet the requirements of small, medium and large companies. Our systems are extremely advanced and in line with the strictest European standards. Water is a fundamental component for marble working. At the moment, all marble working plants use sophisticated and automated systems. During the working of marble, granite and conglomerate, Water acts as, as lubricant and coolant for the tool used, whilst at the same time rinsing away any residual material, very fine powder. The water is collected into drainage pipes at the floor level and driven into a central well through small tanks and connecting pipes. This can also be done with a system of pipes placed on the surface. Waste material, such as marble dust, packaging material, plastic or other tailings, settle inside the central water collecting well. Inside these tanks, there is a submerged lifting pump for dirty water. This pump drives the working dirty water to the settled silos, working together with the flocculating pump. The purpose of the flocculating pump is that of injecting a chemical product which, once dosed in the right quantity, has the primary effect of separating the working dust from the water by turning the former into heavy flakes. The chemical product is diluted to a percentage of 1 per thousand into a container where it gets adequately mixed. In this way, the heavy flakes settle fast at the base of the cone. By adequately controlling the flocculating pump, it is possible to get almost clear water. The water is discharged through a connecting pipe into a collecting tank. Within the tank, the waste water is filtered in order to keep discarded material. If the storage tank is not available, a manual release filter can be used instead. There are two level probes to control the whole water cycle. A longer probe actions the submerged lifting pump whereas a shorter one in contact with the water can stop the whole system. The clear water is sent back to the working cycle from the pump room with a pressure which varies from 2 to 3 bars. The system is indeed equipped with two pumps, one in operation and one as backup. As an alternative to so-called cylindrical systems described so far, there are so-called rectangular systems. They have the same function as that of the cylindrical ones, but occupy less room because are equipped with a laminar pack, the function of which is to speed up the settling process. All systems are equipped with valves. The controlling valve can be operated either by discharge timer or manually. In small and medium companies, at the end of the cycle, the mud is collected into filtering sacks, which retain the residual working dust but let the water flow. In large companies, instead, the big quantity of mud coming from the process is discharged in the homogenizer, then sucked in by a centrifugal pump, 
and driven to a pressing filter where the water is recovered and solid components are made compact. These are then discharged into a special space which is periodically emptied out. Over and above the water decanting systems, we also make dust suction machines for the suction of dust from manual work. These structures are made in stainless steel and can be either sucking counters or water cabins according to users' requirements.